I was really thinking about how long me and Frank Beamer go back. And really, it's not just Frank Beamer I was thinking about. As we approach 6 p.m. Blacksburg time. Patterson. Up near midfield, they'll mark him at the 49. It's a first down for Patterson as Ford made the tackle. In here by Patterson, looking down the field, nothing there. Actually, it's, it's a design run as Austin Cannon, who's in there for less of this. So Zach Gill, his backup, they're in along that defensive line now to replace him. Ninth play of the drive. Second passing attempt is a completion from Patterson to Hazleton. Inside the 10 of the 8. Still plenty of time for Patterson and company. They can't, can't force it and try to hit it all right now, but they get a big hitter, don't they? And a first down at the 47-yard line for Virginia Tech. Patterson turns it upfield. Patterson all the way to the house. Quincy Patterson, the third for the touchdown. Look at this young offensive line getting a hat on a hat. Surratt takes a chance, comes knifing through, misses, and so do a few others with the wrong angles. And Quincy Patterson, the big man at 250 pounds, can go answering right away just like that. Plenty of football left to play. Patterson, the pass. Man coverage, Greg Ross, who's had some trouble. And look at that pass as we get a closer look at it. It's a one-handed catch with Ross hanging all over him. The flag that was declined, he still had him wrapped up. He had no choice but to make it a one-handed grab. But now the redshirt freshman, who hasn't had much action at all, with a chance to win it. Patterson to the end zone. 